Let's start by taking a look at the big picture, the basic configuration of most knitting machines. Commonly used for single knits are circular knitting machines, which pull their yarn supply from creels located either above the machine or next to the machine. To make it easier for technicians to service the creels, it is more usual to find creels located at the side. In this position, less lint falls into knitting elements, larger packages can be used, and more feeds can be placed on the machine. Whether the creel is at the side or top, the principles for circular knitting are the same. Fed from above the knitting elements, yarns move from the yarn supply, or creel, through guides to stop motion controls above the machine, then back down through tension controls and yarn feeding devices to the knitting elements. Quality products can be produced only when stop motion and yarn feeding functions are properly set. The intricate action of knitting, where needles form loops, occurs at the middle of the machine, between the take-up and the yarn feeding mechanism. A close-up shows you how, with circular weft knitting, needles knit one after the other in a sequence for each yarn. Notice how loops are formed horizontally by needles knitting around the cylinder, forming a tube. After yarn is knit on the knitting elements, the knitted fabric is passed over a spreader mechanism through take-up rolls and is wound into a roll. This elliptical spreader distributes the take-up tension uniformly and enables the fabric to conform to a flat tube. 